Namaste student. Today we are going to see divisibility rule for 7. So here we have the step is that first we will take the number and then see the last digit. Last digit means unit digit. Take the unit digit and double the number. That means multiply with 2. And then subtract from the truncated original number. That means let's see, let's see we will understand the meaning of this one. And we will proceed or we continue this step till we get our result so here we have this step you can read it by your own I'll explain this one okay so let's take any number so your number is take a number that is 602 okay now take the unit digit so and take this truncated digit so what we have 60 now subtract this 60 by what double the digit of the last digit that means 2 to the 4 check the result that is 56 now you check this 56 is divided by 7 or not yes is divisible by 7 therefore 602 is divisible by 7 okay take another number the number will take here 6069 okay now what we're going to do we'll take the unit digit okay double this unit digit and whatever remain left this part okay 606 we have take 606 subtract 606 by double the digit that means 2 into 9 what will get 606 minus 18 and here we'll get mm, okay 588 okay again next step same see we don't know about this one so what we're going to do again we'll take last digit and remaining part will subtract it again same rule see double the last digit and subtract the left part we'll get 58 minus 16 and we'll get here 42 and now look at here 42 is what divisible by 7 therefore we can say that 6069 is divisible by 7 now if we we'll take bigger number then it will be difficult for you to continue this method that means you need to continue till you get the result like 7 digit 8 digit number so we have one more way to complete this divisibility rule okay so another method we have we're going to see that method why why sir is this one is there in our syllabus yes it is there in your syllabus let's see okay and uh, it is not only valid for rule number 7 it is valid for 11 to and 13 also so by one rule three number can be solved okay let's learn that method so here we have few number with us you can see the bigger bigger number okay and the rule is that divisibility rule for 7 11 and 13 same rule will apply already we have learned for 11 okay according to our syllabus we'll learn another one okay this is more shortcut to then other one so let's see we'll take first we'll go for the 7 okay so take the number we have the number so this is your number one what we have five nine two five seven two four seven seven your target is that last three digit will be subtracted from the remaining part okay that is take step one five nine two five seven two subtract this one four seven seven what we'll get here five nine 
5. Next step. Again, we'll take 3, last 3, and subtract the remaining part. That is 592 minus 095. Subtract. What we'll get? 7, 9, 4. This is 3 digit number. Now we cannot do. What we're going to do? We'll check by 7. It is divisible or not. Let's check. 7, 7, 49. 7, 1, just 7. Yes, it is divided by 7. Therefore, 5925724477 is divisible by 7. And to check that it is divisible by 11 or 13 or not, what we are going to do, just we will take here 13 and we will check it. If it is divisible, then we will say that yes, it is divisible by 13. For 11, we will check by 11. If it is divisible or remainder 0, then we can easily say that yes, it is divisible by 11. Let's do for another one. Again, we will go for the 7. So here we have number. First, we write the number. We have 1649361. This is your number. So what we are going to do? First step, last three digits separated and whatever we have, take that one. 1649 and subtract the last three digit 361 subtract it okay so what we'll get 8821 this is again the, as it is a four digit number so what we're going to do we'll take the last one take the last three digit here subtract it so we may get a negative also there will be no problem with that we'll keep it separate the negative part and we'll try to see that it is divisible by 7 or not okay so here we are getting 287 now you check minus 287 so we'll not take about the minus we'll just see about the number so we'll check this is divisible by 7 or not yes 7 for the 28 and 7 we have we can see that this is also divisible by 7 therefore we can say that 1649361 is divisible by 7 so let's go for the this one and we'll check for 13 it is divisible by 13 or yes it is divisible as i have taken the number for the 13 only so we'll try to solve this one in this method only okay so what is our number 328-3046 328-3046 this is our number okay so we'll write here number your first step take the last three digit separate it and whatever we have three two eight three subtract this one okay this so let's see what we are getting here we are getting seven three two three yes this one we are getting okay now again what we'll do take last three digit and subtract okay that means step 2 3 minus 2 3 7 and we are getting here 2 3 4 let's check this is divisible by 13 or not okay 13 one ja. 13 we are getting here 0 1 and 4 yes 13 8 ja. 104 you can see that this one is divisible therefore we can say that 3283046 is divisible by 30 okay so any number any bigger number whatever 10 digit number 11 digit number you can proceed in this way not only with the two step it may take three step four step five step also it depend on the number of digit how many digit you are going to check okay now one more thing we're going to see one more shortcut thing is that any six digit number if it is look like like if we'll take eight six one and again eight six one repeat this is your six digit number then this number must be divided by seven eleven and thirty not only this by 101 also 
1001 okay you can see this one any any number you take this uh, 725 and 725 this is my six digit number is it divided by 7 yes it is divided by 11 also it is divided by 13 also it is divided by 1001 also check by your calculator you can see this one this is the trick any six digit number if it look like double this type of thing it will be divided by 7 11 13 1001 again 6 9, 7 9 6 7 9 this is your six digit number and you can see that 6 7 9 6 7 9 repeating that means this is divided by 7 13 11 and 1001 these are the three thank you